Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I am Liz Quinn, your star scentsy consultant. So today what I have for you is my weekly what I have been warming. But since it's pretty close to the beginning of April and we've had a lot of changeover in products on the website, I thought that I would draw your attention to some really fabulous things that popped up in clearance. The Peppermint Dreams Bar, as long as it lasts, is there. The Brick of Sweet Orange Pomander is there. Uh, the Tinkerbell bar that was so good last spring summer is there. I don't know how long they will last when I get this up. They might even be gone. But if not, there's some really nice things that I personally or friends of mine really love that might be worth checking out. We have a new woof box that's all jammy time themed. We have the Mother's Day collection that launched. There's all sorts of goodies. So you might want to go and take a look at some of those things. But I have the review for the trio that is the Mother's Day collection that comes in the beautiful long box that says she is, and then she has courage, kindness, and strength is the implication because you flip it open and then you see the bars. All about mothers and their wonders. Courage is the first of the three. Sensi says that this has bold raspberry, red mango, and pink amber. It is beautiful, you guys, especially for a bedroom. It kind of falls in between pink haze and sweet amber and freesia, or even a little hint of flower child. And it's good medium strength, whereas some of those other bars, I've had trouble with them over the years. This is really nice, and I happily ordered another trio of this, and it's on my way home to me. Then Kindness. This one is really, really good with the dewy greens, the magnolia, and the white musk. It leans a little bit clean breeze plus florals, but not so much so that I get a headache. My husband loved this because of the crispness. And I think it's a really nice scent, kind of unexpected because we don't typically get something that flirts between floral and laundry like this. Really good. And then last but not least, the crown jewel of this collection for me, strength. This bar is so good. My younger daughter came out when I was melting this one morning and said, Mom, what is that? Is that one of the new ones? I said, yeah. She said, you got to get more of that. And she doesn't really usually get that excited about fruity bars, and neither do I. So this one, the strength, is nectarine, pineapple, and sun-kissed lemon. It is better than any of those single notes. It is just gorgeous when warm. So please try that from the Mother's Day collection. They are wonderful. Next, I did get a couple things from the Honey Dukes collection. Neither of these are going to be repurchases for me. I got them in an emergency club shipment when I was also working on those lemon, loads of lemon reviews for you last week. Cauldron Cakes, this bar I really wanted to like. And I know it's supposed to have spices and vanilla cake, but what I'm getting is a watered down version of Mandarin Moon minus the oranges. And I don't really like it that much. It's okay. It also kind of smells like really... I think it's the clove, overly steeped black tea that then has some sort of diluted watery cake note. I don't mean to be negative, but for as much as you're going to pay for this, it's just really not that great. So I did a wax war with this and the three thumbs up bar. They're similar, but this one has the creaminess and the richness that I want. Whereas this gets kind of sharp for me. So this is already in my club. Now, if I couldn't get this, if I didn't have apple butter frosting, if I didn't have 10 other bakery bars in my club, I might get that just out of desperation. But if I have other things to choose from, I'm not going to be ordering the cauldron cakes again. So this still really has my heart. This is a great bar that I raved about all last August and September, and it's just safely staying in my club because it is like the cauldron cakes, plus more creaminess, maybe a hint of pumpkin, and it's more rich, and I like it much better. Now, the other one that was in the Honey Dukes collection is this, the Sherbet Lemon. This is a great scent on cold, but for me, on warm, this did get overwhelming. I like the scent. It was just too much of it. So I may put a couple cubes of this in my basement and call it good for a few days. It's just heavy. The way that squeeze the day can get to be too much for some people. This just got to be way more lemon and a little bit sharp than I wanted. And it just didn't play as nice as it does in the clam for me. So again, this is not one that I'm going to repurchase. And if we didn't have squeeze the day and we didn't have seven other or 11 bars to choose from right now, I might order more of that because it's not a bad scent. But with the others to choose from, I prefer the nuances of almost everything else that I've melted that's lemon that I've already got in the house. Okay, now last week I had these in my basket and somehow I just forgot to pull them out. I did a trio of green bars that I really, really like. And 
I wish I could get more of this. This is called Sweet Cucumber. This was in a flash sale bundle. It is very similar to Mad for Melon. So it's got these sweet springy florals, but then it's got the cucumber and a little bit of some sort of like a melony note. Oh my gosh. Or maybe a little bit of citrus, all of the above. This is so, so nice, you guys. And I'm picky about my cucumber scents. So if I ever see this again, I am getting more. Next, I've got another one that was Bring Back My Bar. This is Cucumber Lime, and that went very well with the sweet cucumber. This is nowhere near as sweet. This is more zesty and sharp, but it's perfect. This is a boomer, and this will hold up to any situation because it's so strong, really nice and fresh and clean. And then I had a couple cubes left of Mandalorian Air of Adventure. This is a little bit more garden green. I think it's got geranium, it's got silver sage and some other stuff in it that blends nicely as a soft green scent, very good for March and April. And I was using that in my Florida room. Now, the basement, I haven't told you guys about anything in the basement because the last two months of my life have been so chaotic. I haven't even been down there. I still need to get some of the like winter decor down if you can see just how uh, crazy my life's been. But I put Flower Child down there today in good faith that this week I'm gonna get that room cleaned up. So this is very light. I needed to use all the cubes at this bar and two warmers downstairs to get any throw. And it's more dainty. I think this one has sandalwood and berries and what, freesia or jasmine or both. Very pretty, but just a whisper of scent. Whereas something like the new uh, Courage has some of this character, but with a lot more oomph. So those were good. Now, we had a balance of sweet, light, happy, sunny days and really cold, yucky days that some of them were even snowy. So I did do, and it was a little heavy for this time of the year, one heavy duty, more fall type melting day where I used uh, vanilla cinnamon maple and toasted coconut amaretto and alternate warmers. And it was strong. Usually my vanilla cinnamon maple, I only use in my basement and it's not that great up here. This bar outperformed what it usually does and I had to turn the warmers off. So I guess we'll just start with this. I put all the cubes in all my warmers because typically I struggle to smell this upstairs. Not, not that day. It's really nice though. It's just got the maple and it's creamy from the vanilla and it has the cinnamon. It's a fall cuddly smell and I don't know if it's just time of the year and honestly the difference in the air quality. This is a little heavy, but I will never remove that from my club at least in the near future because I love it so much. And then a friend of mine alerted me in Clarence like a month ago to toasted coconut amaretto being there. This is so strong, you guys. Oh my gosh, I used three cubes, spaced throughout the house in mini warmers, and I still had to go turn them off. It's so good, but it is so much scent. So if you're complaining about Scentsy not putting enough oil in their bars, get one of these the next time it's in Clarence. You will not whine any longer, I promise you. Oh gosh, and you get all that amaretto in sort of a roasty toasty amaretto, amaretti cookie, which is different than just amaretto liqueur, and the coconut, and it's phenomenal. It's just super, super boomer strength. Then on that same day, I did a little bit of this Melting Memories bar that my friend Robin sent me. I have a few from her. My favorite was the vanilla birch and cream, or what was that one called? Buttercream and birch, that was amazing. Like my favorite vendor wax, something or other that was random of all time. But this one, the Kairos cookie, I think this has peanut butter in it. And because I was trying to do it on the same day as the toasted coconut amaretto, I think it wasn't a good combination. But this was really cute and reminds me of like a peanut butter no-bake cookie. I just should do that on a different day with other supporting scents, like maybe vanilla or graham cracker crunch. So then another day I was doing some perk me up only in the Florida room. It might've been while I was dealing with the vanilla cinnamon maple thing. I did pull this bar from my club. It's about all that sensi has been offering in coffee, but it's just kind of okay. And typically I really like mixing this one cube to one cube with the caramel scent. That's when it really shines, but I have a few bars now when it's not anything to write home about. So I have pulled it from my club. Another one that I didn't pull is toasted caramel sugar. I was kind of unsure about this when I clubbed it at first from our last BBMB. This is so good, you guys. It's different. That really beautiful, toasty, almost burned caramelization quality is unique to this bar and is fabulous. And that will probably be staying in my club for the long haul now. And I am falling in love with very vanilla. 
I'm gonna have to do a serious wax pour where I do a whole bar of Simply Vanilla and a couple warmers to get it like filling the room and then the adjacent room, the very vanilla. I'm scared to pull Simply Vanilla from my club because I don't wanna regret that, but oops, this is so incredible. This sweet, beautiful, feminine, confectionery vanilla, like it's, it's, it's not bakery. But there's a marshmallowy sweetness, kind of like, you know, my beautiful lacy sleeves on this cool $5 top that I found the other day. I had to show that to, to you guys because I don't usually do lace, but I loved this. And I don't like puff sleeves either, but this was just so cute. Anyway, this, this bar is this shirt. Like, it's just, it's perfect. It's feminine. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, so that is making me very, very happy. Please try Very Vanilla if you haven't. Put it in your most powerful warmer. But, oh, is that good? Just, mmm. Okay. Another thing that I was doing is Mango Shortcake, which is just a really good Old Sensepirations bar, which we can no longer get unless you've got it in your club. But it's really happy, and it's just like a whipped creamy shortcake with the mangoes. Just, just beautiful and springy and happy. In my older daughter's room, I did some Summer Moonlight, and I think oh, I've got a couple stacks here that I skipped that are more like main living space. We'll get back to those. Summer Moonlight. Sweet peas and strawberries and sandalwood, so feminine, so beautiful, really, really good catalog bar. If you haven't tried this, please do, it is good. Another one where I just wanted to get the four cubes gone. It's a little bit past this season, but I put this in the older daughter's room, which is all blue anyway. Used up some Eskimo Kiss. This is just a gentle, elegant, almost body care scent that we usually have in the wintertime. Not anything to write home about, but it's always pleasant and enjoyable. Couple cubes here, a couple cubes there. Perfect for a bedroom. Cube or two, I think it was just a cube of luscious lemon in a mini warmer because I was just craving it. This is all I have left of what is one of my favorite lemon scents. It's more gentle than squeeze the day. Reminds me the most of actual lemon meringue and I'll be sad when that's gone. So then I did two really celebrate Easter days, Saturday and Sunday this weekend. I pulled out a couple of bars of peony petals, which I did not club just because I like other florals better, but this is such an Easter scent. It is peony with a little bit of rose, and it was just gorgeous. I melted this all day on Saturday, loved every minute of it. I'm glad I think I have at least one more clam for next year. Very, very good bar. I can see why people raved about that, and I'm kind of sad that I didn't club it, but like I said, I have other florals that I love more. Pink Sunshine, I did some of this in a couple of warmers to support the peony petals. So this is a really sweet bar that has, I think, what? Pear, plum, and romantic um, body care scents. And those all went together and supported the peony petals very well because it was very feminine. Then Heirloom Rose, this is a boomer. This is currently available with our garden collection, the two different trios that make up like the six bars that are gardening. You guys, I love rose. I don't like Simply Rose. That one gives me a headache. This heirloom rose with the dewy greens and the fresh air, it's perfect. It's so realistic. I love this, love this, love this. If you like rose at all, please try it. And then the crowning glory was Easter. Easter Sunday, one of my all time favorite spring bars is Spring Forward. You just have to smell this. It's unique to itself. Used up a whole clam. It's somewhat sweet, somewhat tart, just glorious smells like fresh spring air and the one that might be even better is sun soaked petals these two evoked spring bulbs walking out in the garden going to the tulip festival this has water mint it's got daffodil it's a little bit sharper it's got current and those made the most lovely weekend we had a quiet just the four of us kind of an easter dinner because my folks are up north with my brother my husband succeeded at grilling some beautiful ribeyes we had a ham we almost lit the <laughs> kitchen on fire because the scalloped potatoes just overflowed everywhere we had a big old smoky mess and it was great so i hope that you guys had as wonderful an easter and resurrection sunday as i did please let me know what you're thinking about all the new products that are available this month. Did you pick up a brick of sweet orange pomander in clearance yet? And I hope that you had just a glorious, glorious uh, festive weekend with your family and friends celebrating Easter. Have a great day, guys. God bless. Bye.